I know this is going to be a different video than usual on my channel. I've been documenting the failure and the aftermath of two dams in mid-Michigan in the United States. Many people have asked me to do a video on the Three Gorges Dam in China, however. The Chinese people need help in getting their story out there just like the people in Sanford and Edenville and that this is the reason I'm doing this video. For some background on the Three Gorges Dam, it is a hydroelectric gravity dam and it is the largest hydroelectric dam in the world. The total electric generating capacity of the dam is 22,500 megawatts and in 2018 it generated 101.6 terawatt hours. For reference, 1 megawatt is 1,000 kilowatts or 1 million watts. The dam body was completed in 2006 with the power plant portion of the dam being completed and fully functional on July 4th, 2012. The dam was not only built for hydroelectricity, but was also built to reduce the potential for flooding downstream and to increase the Yangtze River shipping capacity. The Three Gorges Dam is located on the Yangtze River in Yichang City. Sorry if I mispronounce any of these words. The Yangtze River is the largest river in Asia and the third longest in the world. There are over 80,000 dams in China. The Three Gorges Dam is 2,300 meters or 7,546 feet across the Yangtze River and is as long as three Burj Khalifas laid end to end. The structure took 16 million cubic meters of concrete to complete or as much concrete to complete five Hoover dams. NASA actually calculated that the massive water contained in the reservoir actually slowed the Earth's rotation. Wuhan is just downstream of the Three Gorges Dam, a city of 11 million people. The Chinese are putting up propaganda to ease people's fear. Chinese authorities have admitted that the Three Gorges Dam may have deformed slightly, but it is safe. The water in this picture had to be released after the water level in the reservoir was more than 50 feet higher than its flood limit level. After this, the flooding forced eastern Anhui province to open two dikes and blast another two open to release waters, inundating some 45,000 acres of land. This dam was blown up because the water was almost going over the top of it. I'm not sure if blowing up the dam made the situation better or worse than just letting the waters crust over the dam. Here's what the state-run media had to say about the flooding. The internet keeps spreading the information about floods to your cell phone. It is the improved internet access that gives everyone a false impression that flooding is getting more serious year after year, a state-run TV anchor said. A Chinese official said that in 2006 that dikes had collapsed at over 3,000 reservoirs in the past 50 years due to substandard quality and poor management. Chinese media is not reporting these collapses and failures. Chinese state-run media also referred to the flood as beautiful and fairy-like. Their news reports are full of positive energy and even describe the submerged cities as beautiful landscapes of lakes and mountains. Now that we have some background of what has been happening in China on the Three Gorges Dam, let's take a closer look at the flood water that are expected to hit this week. Let's take a look at the live feed. Looking at the live feed from yesterday, we can see the sluices they have open. Sluices and floodgates are used synonymously. Currently they have 7 sluices open out of the 22 sluices available. This means that they are still able to open 15 sluice gates to dissipate water. This flood season they did have 9 sluice gates open so that they are not at that maximum yet. With the amount of water coming through this dam, the vibrations have to be having a large negative impact. Officials have said that there are cracks forming on the dam as well. So far the dam has held up to these forces but for how much longer can it stand and will it be able to hold off the amount of water coming this week? Here are a couple photos that were published in some major newspapers and you can see how much the dam is deformed. These could just be distorted from Google Earth images though. Here is a picture of the Three Gorges Dam flood control capacity. This dam can hold 22.1 billion cubic meters of water which converts to 776.9 billion cubic feet of water above the dam. Before the flood season starts, they want the water level at around 145 meters or 475 feet. During the dry season, they try to keep the water at 175 meters or 574 feet. The top of the dam is 185 meters or 607 feet. Now let's take a look at the weather forecast. Keep note that the Three Gorges Dam is located in Yichang, right here. For reference, we can see Shanghai is over here. And the other important spot that we're going to take a look at is Chengdu here and Yan. We can see for the next 12 hours, it actually doesn't look like there's too much rain coming. 
when we're looking at Yi Chang, 0.071 inches, Chang Du, 0.02 inches, even out here in Yan, 0.09 inches. Now let's look out to 24 hours, and we can see we're starting to see some more rain in Yan, 2.89 inches. Chang Du, still at 0.04 inches, and over here in Yi Chang, 0.05 inches. We can see this area over here is not experiencing much rainfall at all. Now let's look out to three days. Now we're starting to see a bit more rainfall occur here. Yi Chang is supposed to get 0.1 inches. Chengdu is now supposed to get 0.67 inches. And out here by Yan, 8.75 inches. That's a lot of rain. Now even getting out to the next five days, things just continue to get worse and worse. Yan is at 11.63 inches. Chengdu 1.1 inches. Yi Chang is not looking too bad over here yet at 0.22 inches. But when we get out to 10 days, let's take a look at that. Look at all this rain coming. Yi Chang is at 0.27 inches. Chengdu over here, 7.47 inches. And the most out here in Yan, 18.19 inches. The water level in the Yangtze River is already high. All this water flows through tributaries downstream to the Yangtze River. You can start to see a little bit of the Yangtze River here, but it hooks up and goes all over up in here. All these tributaries flow down into this Yangtze River. I'll actually try to overlay uh, kind of a picture that shows the Yangtze River on this actual rainfall guide so that we can see that in a little bit more detail of how much water is going to start to be flowing through this river. This will be the fourth flood to hit the Three Gorges Dam, all this water coming within the next 10 days. The only good news is the rain levels further down the Yangtze River will be minimum. We can see this over in here, over here uh, by Shanghai, in this whole area, further downstream, 0 0.01 inches. They're not getting much in here. So if they do have to open up these sluice gates, even more than nine if they have to go higher than they were in the flood stage earlier this year, hopefully this area downstream here does not get as much flooding. Wuhan, China here, 0 0.03 inches as well. Let's zoom out a little bit more. We can kind of take a whole look at China here so we can get a little better detail of where we're actually at. This actually shows up the uh, Yangtze River a little bit better in here as well. So hopefully the sluice gates are able to handle the volume of water that is expected in these next 10 days. I'm going to keep an eye on this situation and see how things progress, but let me know if you found this video interesting and if you would like me to continue to do these sorts of videos. Thank you to everybody for supporting me, uh, subscribing to my channel, liking and sharing these videos. It does help a lot. If you want to contribute to the efforts here, make sure you visit the Sanford Strong and Edenville Strong Facebook pages. I'll leave the links in the description down below. And if you want to help support my page, I'll also leave my Patreon and PayPal account down below. Thanks for watching and make sure you catch my next video. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.